Welcome to a new voice in coaching where we discuss the new innovations coaching is bringing to our world. Whether you're a coach or interested in coaching, whether you are a leader in your business, organization, or home, here we have authentic conversations around the practical tools coaching is bringing to every area of life and culture around us. Well, hello, everyone. Welcome back to A New Voice in Coaching. I'm Connie Jacob. Hey, Abe Brown here. Thanks so much for joining us. We are excited to talk about something that's very innovative in coaching Certification, Abe, what is uh, the special sauce that we have here that we really think is quite valuable for people to know about? Well, you know, and let me, let's just talk about sauce for a moment, okay? Because if you are a foodie like I am, then you know that uh, it's all about the sauce sometimes. It's all now, about the sauce. We're all doing our best to watch our calories and to, you know, keep ourselves in, in, in a healthy sort of body condition, but there's nothing like the right sauce at the right time, you know? <laughs> and it could be as simple as just a little bit of sriracha, some some chili garlic sauce. I mean, you take your pick, right? Nothing like some chipotle sauce. You know what I'm saying? It's all just good, right? So no matter how great the food is, if you don't have the sauce, right, you you might be missing out, right? Are, you a, are you a sauce person? I love sauce. Okay. That is my problem. Do you have some favorite sauces? Well, you know, anything that's rich <laughs> and creamy and full of fat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Honestly, I'll take uh, like ice cream. You give me some raspberry sauce, some chocolate sauce. Oh, mm. right. Hey, so why am I talking about sauces? <laughs> Number one, to support your local restaurant industry for sure. But secondly, because when it comes to coach training and certification, you know, there there are a ton of excellent models out there. And, and uh, we never, ever want to assume that ours is any better. But when you have a great meal, you know, a great certification platform, but then you have some extra sauce on it, it just takes that already great thing and makes it better. And so in our coaching certification, we like to say that our, our secret sauce is the experiential learning that we do because we provide, I'm going to say, as much or more content as any of the other platforms. As a matter of fact, I've had people who have gone through, we had a lady who did the training, she's from Toronto. And she has done three other coaching certifications. So ours was her fourth. And she did the training with me last weekend. And she described how none of the other models provided the depth of tools and specific applications that we provided. Most of them were all about the concept or the theory. But she loved the fact that we had that. But also, here's the tools. But on top of all of that, so that's the meal what we have is this thing called experiential learning, which really takes it to the next level. Mm, it really does. You know, it's interesting. This weekend we did the business coach certification. Right on. And that's exactly what everyone said. We take a lot of time to not just teach and instruct, but be able to dive into the concepts. And people leave with, with um, these experiential learnings that allow them to apply what they're learning right on the spot which means that they're probably going to take it further with them. Yeah, and so, so if you're wondering, well, what, what, what are we actually talking about? So what we would do in our coaching certification, and it's really important to kind of just make this real practical so you get it, uh, you know, and, and of course, if you haven't been through it, it's hard to imagine. So we're going to just do our best is we're teaching the concept. And, you know, so let's take a, a something like in the business coaching certification where, the, you know, one of the key elements, of course, if you're going to run a business is promotion, right? So let's talk about marketing and let's talk about how would a, a small business owner tell their story in community, which is great. But then what we do is we'll provide a worksheet that you would use with your client to have that conversation. But rather than just assuming you know how to do that when you get into the real world, we'll set up an opportunity for you to pair off with someone else who's also taking the class and you both use this worksheet on each other. And what's so great about that is not only do I develop this sense in which, yeah, I get this, I'm able to coach this, but I'm also, from the perspective of being in a client, thinking about this from a very real perspective. It's no longer theoretical because now I'm looking at, oh, geez, I've got to think through my own promotion. Mm -hmm. And what does that look like? And you know what I find is it's really tough to be a great coach if you've never sat in the seat of a client, mm. right? Yes, if you can be in that journey, that's what I love. You can be the coach and you can be the coachee. 
And you get both experiences. And that's one of the things that we hear a lot with people who want to be coaches. They, they say to me all the time, they're like, I, I really want to be a coach, but I don't know exactly how to do that. And so we just kind of throw them in with people who are learning, which is great because you're both on that same level. And it's a safe place to try and learn. Yeah, I mean, and, and, and you know, when you think about it, I mean, adults, like how do we learn best? Well, we learn best by doing. Mm -hmm. And so when you're in that safe place, but you're also being asked the the tough question. So we always say we want you to be safe, but not comfortable, right? So somebody is asking those questions that, that every good coach does, which might make you squirm a little bit and might make you dig deep and think and have to go through some tough sort of internal dialogue to get to where you want to be. It really is transformational. And, you know, at the end of the day, that's the process of coaching anyway. So in a training course about coaching, why wouldn't we mirror that? You know, and, and I think, you know, even as a, a leadership coach, I, you know, you did the business coaching certification, which is just so great. I think about how many tough conversations that, that the most effective leaders have. Mm -hmm. And I don't, when I say tough, I don't mean that they're all tough in the negative sense. But, you know, as a leader, we're always thinking about strategically, how do we say what we want to say, but, but with, with a minimum amount of damage and a maximum amount of empowerment and that's tough to do, right? Mm -hmm. And so why not do that in this safe container of a certification weekend when we're all learning and you're not going to do any long-term damage because this isn't your actual employee or team member. This is another person taking the same training weekend with you. And you also have the guidance of a facilitator. So it's also a supervised experience, which then allows everyone to leverage the maximum learning benefit. It's so true. It's so true. And this is this is so crucial. Even right now, I'm finding, and I, I'm sure you are too, Abe, out there, people are looking more for experiences than they are more teaching, more listening to somebody talk about the theory, but to actually have the experience and to be able to apply it right away. Yeah. And I mean, I, I, I don't, you know, I think when you step back, it's, it's not really a surprise. Like, when, when people come into our training, you know, we, we'll hand them, you know, here's your 250-page manual. And though I, I wrote most of it, and Connie was a huge contributor and, and others, I don't mind telling them you're not going to read anything there that you haven't seen or heard before. Mm -hmm. And that's because, you know, Google has and, and the Internet has made knowledge so accessible. So it's not like you're going to come into our coaching weekend and heard like we were crawling through the Amazon rainforest to find some secret about coaching that was written down on some tablet somewhere that no one's heard. Like, of course, nothing's new under the sun. But what is, I think, really important is how do we apply that information? And, you know, 2022 is different than 2023 versus 2018. And when I started coaching back in 2007, 2008, the, the thing is different. So the more experiential learning we give, the more we're giving people the ability to apply the, the knowledge, which kind of, you know, is, is not new. It's new-ish, but it's not new, but in a relevant way for this day and age, right? And that's critical because, you know, how you're going to coach a millennial is a lot different than how you're going to coach a baby boomer. Mm -hmm. And how you're going to coach a baby boomer who, who's active in the workforce is completely different than how you would coach a baby boomer who is retired from the workforce. And so, you know, having those different contexts in coaching is critical and, and, and a chance to think them through in a safe environment. Yes, yeah, so true. And so we love we love to share these nuggets, you know, for a couple of reasons. You know, number one, we we want people to know what does set us apart. Um, but also to to be that new voice and to encourage others to think about how can you provide experiences for people rather than just talking or speaking or teaching. Um, something to think about for yourself, your own business, and, and what you do. And coming along the ride with us is a great way to experience it for yourself so you can pass on that experience to others. Yeah, you know, and, and I think if you're watching this or listening to this and you're wondering, well, you know, I don't necessarily want to become a coach. Okay, that's totally fine. But I would encourage you, you know, in whatever context you're in to incorporate more experiential learning because the more you can have conversations that actually lead to people having the opportunity to apply 
the knowledge, that is much more effective. Again, especially if you're dealing with adults, because adults learn best by doing, uh, not just by hearing. And, you know, so we in Flourishing Workplace, which is a, a, a sort of a workplace mental health solution that we have, uh, you know, we actually do a lot of experiential learning. And, <clears throat> you know, that might be something that you might want to reach out for us for a conversation about. Because, again, mental health, it's not so much taught, but it's caught. And so when, when we're in that sort of community-based safe environment where we can have those conversations, that allows for that mental health to be picked up on by the participants in the room. You can learn everything you need about mental health, but if you're not actually in a headspace where you can apply it, then it's not really going to help you. So we want to get you into that group environment where some of those deeper conversations can happen. Yeah, so true. So we would love for you to check out our website, certifiedflourishingcoach.com, and our social media handles on LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook, at Certified Flourishing Coach, and journey along with us and see the difference that we're making and the difference we can make with you. Yeah, absolutely. And hey, just one final thought. Um, you know, the, the, the idea of leadership development and experiential learning, again, please do practice that all the time. Whenever you're teaching something, think, how can I create a learning experience through experiential learning that will help people to take it to the next level?